be doing a review. So I'm going to be doing a review on this book, Michael and Peggle. I'll just move up the shirt. Michael and Peggle. It is called Michael. It's by Michael and Peggle, and it is illustrated by Michael Foreman, and it is called Kahoot's Island. So I'm going to read you the blurb of the book, and it says, oh, sorry, it's Kentucky's Kingdom, not Island. Kentucky's Kingdom. I heard the wind above me in the sails. I remember thinking, this is silly. You haven't got your safety harness on. You haven't got your life jacket on. You shouldn't be doing this. I was in the cold of the sea before I could even open my mouth to speak. So I'll just read you, like, basically what it's about I think I think it's what it's about okay washed up on an island of in the Pacific Michael struggles to survive on his own with no food and no water he curls up to die when he wakes there is a plate beside him a fish a plate beside him a fish a fruit and a bowl of fresh water he is not alone so this is from the author of Warhol and now a major feature film this is five ninety nine but I got mine in a box set so yeah. Um my cousin has got that. A Dazzling Adventure by the Times. This is a wonderful book. A modern day Robinson Robinson Crusoe. I don't think it says Crusoe. It says, it says Crusoe here. Oh, Crusoe. And that's by Wendy Cooling. Also, it says um, this is a X-Men press, and it is committed to ethical publishers. I think it's ethical. Um, and this is the winner of the Children's Book Awards. So if you can just read that, I'll have to edit most of this as well. Um, also, it is a mixed paper. Oh, this is well cool. Um, so, oh, this is well cool. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should be it. This is a map. And it's, this is my favourite bit. Yeah, and then there's like monkeys and like cavemen. I think. Oh, I'll read you. This is the Kinsuke. Kingdom. I'll just read you the first page. Oh look, it's in Chinese. It's in Chinese and then it's in English. I'll read you the first page. Oh, I'm part of the second page. I disappeared then the night before. Oh, wait, chapter one, Peggy Sue, but I'm only going to be reading this page. I'm probably like a sentence off the next page because it goes on to the next page. I, this is called Peggy Sue. I disappeared on the night before my 12th birthday, July 28, 1988. Only now I can at last tell the whole extraordinary story, the true story. Kinsuk made me promise that I would say nothing, nothing at all, until at least 10 years had passed. It was almost the last thing he said to me. I promised. And I promised. And because of that, I had to live out a lie. I just bring, read these two pages. Wait, wait no one. <laughs> I could let sleeping lies sleep on. But more than ten years have passed now. I have done school, done college, and had time to think. I owe it to my family. And to all my friends, all of Wom, Hum, is it Hum, Wom, Wom, I don't know, what does this mean? I'm just going to leave it in the comments, that one there, that one, give me that, the, ah, Hum, Wom, I have decided for so long to tell the truth, to tell the truth about my long disappearance, about about how I lived to come back from the dead. Okay. 
But there is another reason for speaking out now. A far, far better reason. Kinsuke was a great man. A good man. He was, and he was my friend. I wanted the world to know him as I knew him. Okay, so I might read this part here. I'm not going to read my father called it fat because the children gibbered and squished and hung up. Some further climb the frame of I'm not going to read that bit. Um, until I was nearly 11. Until the letter came. Life was just normal. There were the four of us in the house. My mother, my father, me and Stella. Stella, our choice. That is my one year up, one ear up, one ear down, black and white sheepdog. Who always seemed to know what was about to happen before it did. If I look kind of weird, I'm literally in my pajamas. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna read it that bit because I cannot be bothered. Okay, so that was like the second page of the book, and um, this is an amazing, an amazing book. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm drinking this raspberry and green tea drink. I don't actually like it, but. He's like, I don't know what to say. So, yeah, I want you to leave your favourite book down in the comments and I will be answering to some of your um, comments down below. Leave it and also subscribe. I think it's down here. I think it's down here. I don't know. Or down here. Or up here. Wait, up here. Up here. Yeah, I think somewhere there. Leave a link, probably a bit here somewhere. And Joshua's channel and my channel will be down there as well. So, yeah. Peace.